Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a super exciting video. This is going to be part one. There will be two parts of a huge Goodwill outlet or Goodwill bins thrift haul trip from the Austin, Texas bins location, which is pretty much my absolute favorite place to source the Goodwill outlet in Austin, Texas, just because Every single time I have been there, I have found amazing items, all very unique, lots of colorful prints and tie-dyes, lots of embroidery, very artsy, boho, eclectic stuff, and this trip was no exception. I found I'm just so incredibly excited with everything that I was able to find. So yeah, my family and I just traveled there for the weekend basically just as a little getaway. My mom, if you guys are unfamiliar, has her own Poshmark closet, so she also resells. I will put the name of it on the screen. It's SeanB13 is her username, and she loves to shop the Goodwill outlet just as much as I do. So we went for, I think we were at the outlet three days in a row, and I would say we shopped for about 10 to 12 hours in total. We did a lot of of shopping we did shop until we dropped so just to go over my numbers in Austin it's a dollar and 59 cents per pound which is definitely cheaper than here in Houston it's two dollars and 49 cents per pound so every time I checked out I was so excited with how cheap it seemed with what I was able to find, I spent $150 total for everything. I was able to find 111 items to resell. This haul, like I said, is going to be part one, so this will show 55 items. And so my average cost of goods came out to $1.35, which is just mind-blowing. Again, with what I was able to find, the quality, the brands, the styles, you guys will see. It's just, it's good. Okay, so... We do have, I wanna say seven pairs of shoes, some bags, some hats, some accessories to start off with, and then we will get into clothing. So beginning with shoes, we first have this gorgeous pair of men's Banana Republic leather shoes. I'm pretty sure these are brand new. They have really, yeah, they are, because the sticker has not been walked on. Ortholite performance insoles, lightweight, long-lasting, breathable cushioning, and they are Italian leather, size 11. So yeah, I will list these over in my men's closet, probably for 50 to $75, just because they are incredible quality. They're a good size, and they're a reputable brand. Next, we have Vince Camuto, also in like-new condition. These were definitely never walked on in a size seven and a half. They are the Rohanna sandals with this T strap, genuine leather. Free people heeled sandals. How cute are these? Suede with the ruffle trims, stacked heel and back. I was just in shock with what I was finding, what people were leaving behind. These were in a very old bin that had been out. It was about to be rolled to the back. And I just walked in, scooped them up, size 37. I grabbed these Steven New York sandals. I've never sold this brand before. I wanna say it's sold at Nordstrom. I basically got these because they reminded me of the Hermes slides. And they're really cute. They have the little heel and back. They are also in good shape, size seven and a half. I don't believe, yeah, synthetic upper, but that's fine. I think these should still go probably 30 to 35 with the style of them. Next we have a pair of Madewell sandals, braided leather strappy upper, and then a small espadrille platform. There is the sole. These did not have a size on them that I could find anywhere, so I will have to measure them. I'll try them on, kind of guesstimate that way. Next we have J. Crew Sherpa slip-on shoes. How cute are these? I don't think these retailed for too much, but they were in such good shape and they are so trendy that I definitely wanted to get them size seven and a half. And then lastly for shoes, these are Saludos. I actually grabbed these for myself but they didn't end up fitting. 
They're a neutral tan suede platform sneaker. I'll give these a quick cleanup. I'll just basically wipe down the rubber sides and get them listed. But with them being genuine suede, I did want to get them size eight. They are so cute. So that's it for shoes. We do have two bags. This first bag is by the brand Two Bar West, which is a Bolo brand. Some of these bags can sell for $75 to $150. It's incredible quality. This leather is so thick and nice. I'll have to stuff this bag whenever I take pictures of it. The handle shoulder strap has all of this studding, silver studding. So cool. And like I said, I mean, the leather just feels so thick and nice. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for two bar West. Second and last bag. How cute is this? So I thought this would be a fun beach bag or just summer tote bag in general. It does stretch out here to be pretty spacious. You could definitely get a beach towel in here. It has a little pouch and also a zippered pocket inside. I wanted to get this obviously because it is so cute and it does look brand new as well, but also because it was made in India of 100% jute. So that does mean that it's a little bit higher quality than if it were like paper kind of thing. So yeah, adorable. Probably, I'll probably list that at like 30, 32 ish. A couple hats. This first one, I could knock it over. Look at these sunflowers. How cute. So it's a woven straw hat and it is by Gap. I think this is an older tag from Gap. This looks like it's maybe from the 90s, size medium large, in excellent shape. And then this one is either from Free People or Urban Outfitters because it does have the 66170 RN number. Okay, then we have some scarves. First one is by Patricia Nash, which is a brand that people know and search for, typically for her leather goods, like leather purses and wallets. So this is her logo right there. It's like four, or I guess it's a little flower kind of thing. But anyways, oh, you know what? That was <laughs> inside out when I was showing you. So this is, there we go, Patricia Nash. And then you have the little flower, which is her logo, 100% viscose. Very lightweight, boho, floral printed scarf with a frayed edge. But yeah, this is a brand that people know and search for, so I think that that should do pretty well. Okay, this is an example of something that is so true to what you would find in Austin. This is a good representation of what you'll find in Austin kind of thing. It's so artsy, but it's so high quality. This feels like 100% wool, and it's just so cool. Uh, it's like this vibrant paisley print. I believe it is a poncho uh, because that is just kind of the cut that I am seeing. Your head is here, and then you have these fun buttons on both sides. And then this is the, is that? Yeah, there's no armhole, so it, it, it's a true poncho. But yeah, with this feeling like 100% wool, it's definitely high quality and just overall a gorgeous piece. I will put that on my mannequin so that you can kind of see it a little bit better. One bralette, is this velvet? Yeah, velvet floral textured bralette in this pretty green color. And this is by the brand Pink, Victoria's Secret. It's in a size medium. This looked brand new and I can add a lot of keywords into this kind of thing like boho festival. Okay, one last accessory, a very chunky knit checkered scarf. Very oversized, very cozy. You could definitely bundle up in this. And this is from Free People. 
I'm pretty sure it's either Free People or Urban Outfitters because once again, it has us that 66170 RN number. And this is 12% wool. So extremely cozy, good quality. Okay, getting into clothing now. I'm just so excited. I'm going to start off with my favorite brand ever, Johnny Was. This is in a new rotation. It was very clearly a raw donation because there was just a lot of artsy stuff in the bin and my eyes just immediately start searching for embroidery, anything colorful, anything high quality feeling and uh, kind of crumpled up at the corner of the bin. I saw this, immediately grabbed it and was just so excited when I got it back to my cart and saw that it was in fact Johnny Was. This is so pretty with all of this gorgeous embroidery. It's a size large which is great. It ties in front. Really pretty feminine cut. So yeah I'll expect probably 75 to 85 ish from that. Okay next another incredible find. Curation by Emerson Fry. So Emerson Fry is a designer brand and this is one of the lines within the brand. Size medium large. New with tags. Printed and made by hand in India. Each piece is unique. Organic cotton. This is 100% organic cotton printed maxi dress. Ties at the shoulders. And then look at this gorgeous print. Again, so artsy, so boho. This is just incredible. I'm so excited to get this listed. I did see some sold comps for this dress on Poshmark for around $100. One I remember was right at 100 and it was not new with tags. So we will see how that does, but I'm expecting at least 100 on that. Next, we have another fun piece, Daydreamer. This is sometimes sold through Free People. It's a tie-dye sweatshirt. I'm expecting probably 35 to 40 ish from this. It does retail for quite a bit. And it is, it kind of crosses over several style categories. Like it's very boho and slouchy, but also kind of athleisure and loungewear, which um, all of that sells very well. So yeah, I'm expecting that to sell pretty quickly. Next we have Cloth and Stone, which I am pretty selective with these days, size small. I try to stick to substantial pieces from this brand that have quite a bit going for them and I would say this dress definitely falls into that. So it's a midi length dress with side vents on both sides and a frayed edge along the vents as well as the bottom hem. And then throughout the dress there is this thin striped print with a metallic thread within the stripe. So. Yeah, a lot happening here. Very boho, also kind of contemporary, minimalist. It has pockets, feels brand new. I was not going to leave that behind. Okay, we need to go a little bit quicker because I need, I wanna film both parts tonight and I'm already getting kind of sleepy. Okay, next we have Tahari, which is 100% linen, size large. You guys know I like to exclusively pick up high quality fabrics in this brand. And with this being linen, that fits that bill. It's a hooded open front cardigan, long line. So I will add all of my keywords into that. Coastal grandma, beachy, boho, lag and look, contemporary minimalist, and I could see that selling 32 to 35. Next we have Lululemon. To me, this looks like the, wow, we have some active trains out there. Uh, this looks like the Swiftly shirt, Swiftly Tech long sleeve shirt, but in a cropped cut. I quickly looked up comps on this and with this cropped cut, I think that means that this is a little bit of a newer piece from Lululemon and the, the comps were really good. I'm not seeing a, oh yeah, size zero. It has thumb holes. So yeah, I'm expecting probably 40 to 50 ish from that just because I didn't see a ton listed. Next, we have a really fun, artsy, kind of tattered pair of Levi shorts in this acid wash vibe to them. So with how cool and grungy these are, I could see these selling 
for around 35, possibly 40 ish. They did not have a size on the interior. So I'll have to measure them and try them on and try to figure that out. But they honestly look to me to be around like a size 26, 27. Next we have a sweatshirt. Where's the, I'm trying to figure out which way is front and which way is back. I know the, yeah, okay. The logo is on the back. So this is the front and it is by the brand Free People Movement which I do love to find and sell. Like I was saying earlier about that Daydreamer sweatshirt, this crosses over multiple style categories like boho, but also athleisure and loungewear. It's a bell sleeve green sun washed sweatshirt. The tag at the neck was missing, but I did find the logo here. This is the Free People Movement logo and the brand does sell really well for me. That'll probably go, I would say again, like 35, maybe 38-ish. Okay, we have a vibrant chartreuse colored sweater here that has kind of a built-in scarf. I'm trying to situate it here, yeah. So it's a sleeveless sweater with a built-in wrap-around scarf front. So pretty. And this is by the brand Josie Notori. They, this brand does have a line that is sold through Walmart, but this is the main line. So this is not sold at Walmart. This was a very expensive piece. It retailed for hundreds and it is 55% silk, 45% cashmere in a size medium. So yeah, this is ideally how you'd wear it, but it's a tank and then you have this long fabric panel in front. So gorgeous piece here. I'll probably list that. I need to look up comps. I don't know if I've ever sold the main line from that brand before. I've never found it, but I would guess off the top of my head around $75. Next, we have Tiny, one of my favorite anthropology sub brands. How cute is this blouse? Floral print in front with a crossover neckline. It does have the little snap here for coverage. It's a mixed media blouse, so the sleeves and back are a really soft, thin cotton, but this front portion is more of a rayon high low hemline really pretty free people embroidered dress mini dress in a size extra small how cute is this elastic at the shoulders as well as the wrist cuffs here look at this gorgeous embroidery so vibrant so yeah this was in a new bin i saw the embroidery ran over to it, immediately snatched it out of the bins. It has pockets. I could say this, I would say this would definitely also fit like a small medium. Next, another extremely exciting find, Everlane, in a size extra large, ribbed cardigan sweater, button down cardigan, in an essential black color, definitely a wardrobe staple here. So anything that is more of a closet staple, I will add in capsule wardrobe as keywords because sometimes, you know, people go onto the secondhand market and search for things like that, capsule wardrobe, because they are trying to build that for themselves. This is 55% wool, 45% cotton. So all natural, high quality materials. I could see that going for 50 to $65. Next we have Sundance in a size extra large. I actually, when I saw this in the bin, it was fully inside out. All I could see was this white lining, but for some reason I just grabbed it and kept moving. And then when I got back to my cart, I turned it inside out and saw that it was a Sundance midi dress and I was so excited. It has this artsy, asymmetric hemline, high-low. It's fully lined in this fun tie-dye print. And this looks unworn. It's really in such good condition. So I will probably list this 50 to 65-ish. I would guess that it retailed for around 
115-ish maybe. Next we have a more bread and butter piece. This is Polly, Princess Polly, size small, medium dress, baby doll dress. I mainly grabbed this because I knew that it would sell based on the cut material, style, and quality. It has mother of pearl buttons, which you guys know I love. And then this really earthy cream colored body. It's 100% cotton. So I've mentioned so many times in the past, but if something is very bread and butter, but the quality is there, like for this, it's a natural material, I will still buy it if obviously it's trendy and the style is cute. If this had been 100% polyester, I would have left it behind just because the quality would not have been there for me. So yeah, I will probably list that, I would say 25, 28. Another excellent find, Spanx by Sarah Blakely, size small, metallic leggings. How pretty. So more of an elegant piece from Spanx here. You could wear these with just a black blouse and maybe blazer over top that with some flats and have these just kind of dress up your outfit a little bit. Okay, more bread and butter here. This is Zara, but it is their newer tag. And again, the trendiness of this was why I got it. It looks really flattering with the cinched front and also the cinched sleeves. It is sheer, which sheer and semi-sheer tops have been selling well for me recently, size extra small, so I'm guessing that's some kind of current trend. Next we have Philosophy. I rarely pick up this brand, size medium. However, I loved the cut style print of this skirt. It's a stretchy, comfy, elastic pull-on waist, tiered body, and then kind of darker floral print. Is that floral? It's more of like a leaf print. Yeah, tropical leaf print. I liked the dark hues to this. You could easily just pair a black tank with this. And once again, it is a little bit higher quality being 100% cotton. Okay, more bread and butter ASOS design. But this was a size 10, which is great. I usually find like size zero in ASOS. Baby doll cut dress with frayed edges. It does have some seam detailing throughout for some added interest. This is also a cotton blend, 100% cotton, made in India. So well made, very trendy, very cute. Continuing on with the nice fabrics, this is 100% exclusive cashmere, handmade in Nepal, poncho. A v-neck poncho, so pretty. I held this up to the light several times to look for small holes and it did not have a single one. So we love that gorgeous piece. Okay, more fun artsy embroidery here. Joy Joy, I've never sold this brand before, size medium, but honestly brand did not matter to me. I definitely got this for the style. How pretty and feminine. Look at this, let me get a close up of this main embroidery here. It's floral and then you have the trim. I love the cheery yellow. And even though it's a very thin, lightweight cotton, the blouse is lined. So that's great if you, yeah, 100% cotton shell and lining. So really pretty, very sweet piece there. We have Free People, more floral prints. This is in a size zero. It's a true wrap skirt, midi length with ruffle trim, high-low hemline, and you guys know I love this color. Really pretty. I might I might have to try that on. Oh, I really liked this a lot. It's by Blank NYC, which kind of like Cloth and Stone, I would say I am pretty picky with this brand, size extra small, but I thought this piece was exceptionally cute. It's a cream 
jacket with oversized tortoiseshell buttons. Something about the combination of cream and tortoiseshell buttons just, I don't know, I have a soft, soft, soft spot for it. It has roll tab sleeves so you can wear them long or you can roll them and secure them. Pockets, also a drawstring at the bottom hem so you can cinch it if you would like to. A cropped boxy fit. I mean, how cute is this? I, I just think that's adorable. Is this cotton as well? 70% cotton, 30% linen. So that's awesome. That's great for transitional weather because it is a jacket. It offers some warmth, but with the cotton and linen materials, it is still breathable. Next, we have Urban Outfitters, size medium, a very trendy leopard printed midi skirt. It's a satin material with a stretch, stretchy elastic waist, but it also does have a side zip. So you could pair a lot with this. You could uh, match just like a cream blouse, or you could go a more fun route and pair this with a graphic t-shirt, like a band tee. That would be cute. Next, more boho, very boho. This is Zara, and this is adorable, size medium. How cute! This cardigan with beading and fringe accents at the sleeves as well as the bottom hem. Definitely a fun way to spice up your outfit. You could just do an all black outfit and then add this on top and have it be like a statement piece. Really cute. Again, this is great for transitional weather because it's still pretty lightweight. I'm wondering if this is like a polyester. It kind of feels like it. Or, uh, oh no, it's 100% cotton. Okay, so that's great. It is breathable then. We love that. Okay, moving on. I have sold this brand a couple times now, Surf Gypsy. It's kind of like a bread and butter summer brand for me, but this piece in particular I thought was pretty substantial with the tie-dye print, the longer tunic length, exaggerated bell sleeves, the crochet inserts. It has a lot going for it. Can you imagine this with one of those sun hats? I mean, this is a look. And then some sandals and a little beach bag. So cute. I'll probably list this, I would say 28 to 32 ish. It also has the crochet at the bottom hem. Speaking of crochet, we have Sundance, size medium. Very pretty blouse here. It is semi sheer, long sleeves. And this, once again, I did look over several times for flaws and it had none. So I was very happy with that piece. And lastly, for our first bag, and we will move on to bag number two, is UMG, size medium. I believe I have sold this exact piece in a tan color in the past, and it sold very quickly. So this is a tunic, oversized, short sleeve blouse top. The sleeves are rolled with a fringe trim, and it does have pockets, yes. And this is a linen blend. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's 100% cotton. It says lace is 100% polyester, but I'm not seeing any lace on here. What is the lace they are referring to? I'm not sure, that's weird. Huh, well, anyways, starting off with a very exciting piece in our second bag here, Topshop size US 12. Very oversized, large, plaid. Is that plaid or is it? Yeah, I think that is plaid. It's like a gradient plaid coat, long line coat. This is gorgeous. I mean, and it, it has like no signs of wear. Here's buttons at the wrist. I always look at the underarms to look for any kind of pilling or matting. It's fully lined, and I believe this is a wool 
blend. It's polyester acrylic, polyamide, 3% wool. Yeah, so I mean with it being a wool blend, I will add that into the title. I love the neutral color of this. I mean, this is just gorgeous. So I will probably list this around, I need to look up and see what it retailed for, but I'm guessing like 75 or $85. It is just Topshop, but this brand can retail for a lot if the piece is really substantial like this. I could see this retailing at like 120 to 150 ish, and it's a good size, great neutral color, good materials. So, yeah, super excited about that. Okay, next, an incredibly exciting find. I did think this was a Kuji sweater when I saw it in the bins but this might be the next best thing because it does seem similar to Kuji. The brand is Akalanda. I say it seems similar because it's made in Australia and it's also 100% merino wool, so very high quality material, and Kuji sweaters are also made in Australia. So, I mean, tell me this is not such a fun sweater. I think I will list this over in my men's closet just because I think it is a men's piece and I'll probably list it I would say 50 to 75 dollars is what I'm thinking off the top of my head but I will look up this brand double check comps and see what it's selling for. Next up we have Lisa Rinna collection which basically meant nothing to me. I got this because it was a size large it's a shirt dress, which shirt dresses sell very well for me. It has this fun tie-dye print at the bottom portion, and it was in excellent condition. It's really soft and nice feeling. It has side vents, pockets. It also has a drawstring on the interior, which you can cinch in if you would like to make it a bit more flattering at the waist. More free people, you guys know I love my free people. This is from their Intimately line. I've actually sold this bodysuit in the past in a different colorway, in the white colorway. This one is black with yellow, with a yellow floral print. This is so flattering on. I was going to keep the other one. Maybe I'll have to try this one on. It has little cutouts with ties in back, and then it does have the snaps at the bottom, which is great. Size small, excellent condition. More of a bread and butter piece here, Lane Bryant, size 22, plus size pants. I wanted to get these because the pull-on elastic stretchy waist pants have been selling so well for me, also because they are plus size and they're from January of 2023 so they are a very new item they're also 53% linen so and then they have this fun beachy print all over actually I think it's a floral print yeah it's a very subtle floral print throughout they look brand new they have pockets in the back so I'll expect I'll probably list these at, I would say 30 to 32 and expect 25 to 28 from them. Okay, I have never heard of this brand, but when I felt the material, I instantly could tell it was high quality. Sunday Forever, it is a cotton silk blend. And I looked it up. This is a robe that retails at $250 has this very dramatic bell sleeve. Unfortunately, I did not find the tie for it, but you could really just add your own, just a plain black tie, or just wear it open. It has a ruffle at the bottom hem. This feels so luxurious with that silk in the fabric, and it was flawless, aside from missing the tie. So. Yeah, I and I did try to look up comps on this, but I couldn't find any sold for this brand on Poshmark. Yeah, 76% cotton, 24% silk, made in India. Gorgeous piece. Maybe it's a newer brand. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of this Sunday Forever, or if you sold it, let me know. 
I will probably list this, I would say 50 to 75 ish. Oh, I forgot to show y'all my one home good that I got for myself. I actually got a few more things, but they're in the next haul. This large glass jar that has like metal and burlap accents. I will probably just put uh, like wheatgrass or something, you know how they put the whatever. I'll just look at Pinterest. I'll Pinterest Joanna Gaines and see what she would do with that. And then I will put it in my living room. But I thought that was cute. And yeah, you can find some not only amazing clothing items in Austin, but the home goods are insane. Like you find a lot of half hair accents like pillows, a lot of really cool artsy jars, rugs, that kind of thing. So yeah, I always have a blast looking through everything. Next up we have a pair of Zara jeans. Is that, here we go, Zara basic, size two, gray jeans with fishnet inserts at the thighs, how cool. Braid, bottom hem. I'll probably list these around 30 to 32 ish. They look like they are in brand new condition, very trendy cut and style with the fishnet and the high rise. Next up, we have J. Crew. This is from J. Crew Factory, size eight, but I still wanted to grab it because of the nautical boho print. It has fun details like this tie at the bottom hem it was in excellent condition and because it's all natural 60 percent linen 40 percent cotton so yeah again like i was mentioning earlier this does cross over several style vibes boho minimalist contemporary nautical even preppy so it does appeal to a pretty wide audience i would say we have a dress by mave which is sold through Anthropology. I think this is one of their older tags, size small, but I thought it was cute. I like the print, the vibrant print. It looks brand new, it has pockets. And this is one of those dresses that you could dress it down or dress it up. It is slightly casual, so you could wear just sandals with this, or you could you know, wear some heels and wear it to the office. Okay, last few items here. Zara, size large, vibrant colored button down blouse, very artsy, has the roll tab sleeves, great condition, lightweight, flowy. We have more Free People Movement. This is a it's like a, just a really soft cotton material, light pink color with balloon sleeves, elastic at the wrist, and then this fun twist detail in back. Definitely gives you some ventilation after your workout. Again, here is that Free People Movement logo. And our very last piece for part one of this Goodwill Outlet Austin Hall is from Urban Outfitters. This is their Urban Renewal line where basically the brand takes vintage items or older items and repurposes them. So, you know, this could have been like a sweater or some type of other piece and they took the fabric, turned it into a jacket. It could have been a blanket, that kind of thing. They just repurpose the item and then sell it. So this is a long line boyfriend blazer jacket with pockets, really cute closet staple here. And yeah, they don't tell you what the materials are because sometimes they don't know, I think. But it's made in USA. And yeah, I will list this for around $35. It's a size medium. So that is absolutely everything for part one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait to get all of this stuff listed. I'm super excited to read y'all's comments also. Please feel free to let me know what your favorite item was. Just let me know that you're as excited as I am about these finds because 
This seriously just made like my whole month to be able to go to Austin. I'm already itching to go back. It's just you can find so much in a shorter amount of time than you can here in Houston. And what you're finding is all just so cool and unique. So yeah, I will have part two out probably the day after this video comes out. So make sure you're subscribed. You don't miss that. Thank you so much. If you watch the whole video, you're a trooper. I'll see you guys soon. Bye y'all.